Ultra Video Powder T. Oi. Android <laughs> in the news almost every day. Nougat. Google in the news. Google up to no good in the rigged hood, I guess you could say. Causing Nexus 6P battery issues and boot loop. There are thousands of Nexus 6P smartphone owners that are now complaining of, well, multiple issues. One is a boot loop. So that's basically the only way to rectify that is to replace that device. Battery drain and device is shutting down. That's with the Google Nexus 6P. Now they claim, most users are claiming that this is after they updated their Nexus 6P, which is a Google hardware device, from Marshmallow, which is Android 6, to Nougat, which is Android 7. And we'll get to, some people claim that it's only when they upgrade from 6 to 7, but we'll, maybe I'll leave that for last. But that's the issue right now, is people are upgrading their Nexus 6P to Nougat, which is Android 7 and then all of a sudden they're receiving these problems. Thousands of people are complaining. Even beta. And it doesn't matter which version of 7. 7.0 or 7.1. Even betas are causing these problems. Now this device is I think around a year old. But it only has I think a one year warranty. Uh, I, think it only, I think they only come with a one year manufacturer's warranty. If you own one, I would make sure you know what your warranty is because you might run into these problems and Google may, may not replace your device if the warranty is expired, even though it's possible that their operating system, which is Android 7, are causing device, these problems on their own hardware devices. So unexpected shutdowns at different battery percentages, charges. And then Google, as is proverbial, they have not officially admitted this. There was I saw one post from an alleged Google employee, I think with the Nexus 6P team or something like that on a Reddit post that chimed in, but they never left their name, they never left an email address, they never left a phone number. So it, this was on a Google forum. It said this was an official Google Nexus team member or whatever. But they never left any contact information, so how do we know that's even a real Google person? You know what I'm saying? A real person from Google. I linked to two threads, one on Reddit and one from Google. And then I will include a link to my blog post at internetcomputers.com so that you can check them out on your own accord. The Reddit thread, one, there's multiple threads on Reddit. One has around 630 comments another one has hundreds of comments and they are documenting uh, I think they're doing a pretty good job the end users the owners they are screen capturing their battery percentages they're taking screen captures of of their batteries draining quickly so you have quick discharges you have boot loops you have shutdowns so you have major problems there, and then Google created, well, there was an Android issue tracker created on an official Google forums. However, for the Nexus 6P, however, Google listed it as a small priority. Small priority? There are thousands of users now complaining. And it's probably most likely because they are upgrading to Google's Android 7 NuGet operating system. And it's causing these Nexus 6Ps to drain battery, shut down unexpectedly, or boot loop, or brick. So all kinds of major problems. I don't, you know, that's absurd to me to consider that a small priority. Maybe, maybe to Google, as long as it doesn't affect millions of users. If it's only thousands, ah. Uh, We'll get to it sometime over the summer. You know, we've got other devices that we screwed up. We got to fix the 5P boot loop. We've got to fix the this and that. You know, we don't got time for this. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Jesus. 
Now, people, I think there are real humans at Google that are aware of this problem and issue because they have been offering return merchandise authorizations, RMA. Basically, an RMA is return merchandise authorization. The device has to be in warranty, and then you have to try to prove that there's something wrong with software or hardware. But So they have been replacing these devices, but they haven't officially admitted it. But that's Google. They're not going to officially admit anything. No, they're just like Microsoft. I don't want to digress about Microsoft and how they are now finally admitting that. I'm, I'm going to make a video about that. It has to do with the Win Windows 10 and how they... I don't, I don't want to digress about that because I want to just stick to this video. This is a problem for me as a person that I own an Android, but it's a HTC 626S. It's probably two years old, I think. It, it only cost me 60 bucks, brand new, in box. I think at one time they retailed maybe at $180 at the most. And then I noticed that price drop, so it doesn't matter. It's a quad core. It, that's all I need. I, I've... I'm entirely happy with it. I upgraded to Marshmallow. I haven't had any problems. If that, if I upgraded when I, after I upgraded my Android and it just drained the battery or just shut down whenever it wanted to or boot looped, I'd be pissed off. Even though I only paid sixty dollars. The problem I have with billion-dollar corporations like Google and Microsoft and Comcast, I mean Comcast. The what I consider arrogancy, they hardly ever admit they're wrong. That, as a computer technician, as a person that tries to solve problems, that gets in the way. Be, get it? If they would just admit, okay, yes, when you upgrade from Marshmallow 6.0 Android to NuGet 7.0 Android, you might end up with these problems. It's the software, it's the update, it's the upgrade. We admit it. Because if you know of what's causing a pro, it's root cause analysis. What's causing this problem? Okay, we know what the problem is now. Okay, so then you would warn all your owners of the Nexus 6P. Don't upgrade from Marshmallow to NuGet. Don't do it because you might suffer the consequences. But when you continue to just small priority, or deny it or you just never ever admit it or you never publicly respond to it well it makes it 10 times 100 times whatever greater for people to try to come up with solutions to those problems that's what what really irritates me quite a bit with these companies man now I thought this was interesting oh yes some of these users are are complaining and claiming that when they upgraded their Nexus 6P to Android Nougat 7, it completely bricked their device. That's no bueno muy mal. Rapid discharges, stuck in boot loops, what else? Powering off unexpectedly, it doesn't matter the percentage of the battery. People's Nexus 6Ps are powering off even if they only have 10% battery charge or if they have 70% battery charge the device just shuts off or the or the battery drains just within seconds and people have been documenting this by taking screen captures or you know pictures of their the the display of their batteries the status of their batteries one solution is to permanently charge your device keep the charger plugged in at all times you can charge most androids and I would say iPhones, but definitely Androids with a USB. As a matter of fact, I have a USB cable connected to my Android right now because it's my camera. But when I'm not using my camera, it charges it. It's a slower charge. When you charge via USB, it's slower. But if, if I leave mine plugged in almost all day long except for I, when I unplug it to take it somewhere or I'm taking pictures or I'm taking video. But I plug it back in. So that's a possible solution for for now. If it's under warranty, I would definitely try to get con I'll get to who you need to contact, but you know, probably want to get it replaced.
so here's possible solutions. Plugging it in permanently, for now, that's just just kind of a band-aid, but instead of having it just shut off on you at any time. Now some I saw some comments where people claim that they factory restored it. They restored it back to factory condition. The problem with that is it's gonna wipe all your applications you load, it's gonna wipe off all your your data for your user accounts. So just be aware of that. If you use Google Gmail, if you use Gmail and you use Google on your Android, it, it'll back it all, it'll back up your contacts. But you need to look into what is actually backed up. It doesn't back up everything. But it you know what I'm saying? That's an option. So you could factory recover it, restore it back to factory. Some people claim that that fixed the issue with the battery discharging the unexpected power offs and I don't know about the boot loop. You could try to factory restore it if you can even boot into the the hidden menu. You know what I'm saying? And, and any other solutions here? Oh, some people claim that clearing the cache, going into the special Android menu and then clearing the cache that way. They claim that it fixed the issue with the battery discharging quickly. I'm not I, I I'm not certain if every person that up there have been some people that have upgraded their Nexus 6Ps to Android 7 Nougat and they haven't noticed any problems yet. And then I don't know if this is absolutist. I don't some users could just have quick battery drains and that's their problem. Some users could just have the device powers itself off unexpectedly. Some brick, some boot loop. You know what I'm saying? Any other solutions? That's basically it for right now. Besides, besides I'll, I'm getting to that right now though. I think the 6P only came with a one year warranty, manufacturer's warranty. If you bought it retail, you need to contact your retail or your service provider if you have phone service and you bought it on, under contract or whatever, whatever your deal is. Wherever you bought it from retail. I w would contact them. I'm not sure why that music is playing. Whatever. I gotta ignore that. My Android is playing something that it, maybe it's a software. Anyways, you need to contact to try to to try to get it replaced and make sure it's under one year warranty still. If it's out of warranty, I don't know. If you could try, I, I would try. Hey, that's money that you spent. You could try to to just put the pressure and say, look. This didn't occur until after I upgraded it f to Google Android 7. You know what I'm saying? And put some pressure. Another thing that some people claim that they used was contacting your credit card company. Because I guess some credit card companies have extended warranties on new purchases. If you buy something brand new, if, if you buy something used with a credit card, no. If, if it's refurbished, no. It has to be a new device. I guess some credit card companies have extended warranties on electronics and phones and smart devices and maybe even computers. But you need to contact your credit card company or you need to read your credit card contract and see if it will cover. What that means is that just because you bought a one-year warranty, just because you bought a Nexus 6P with a one-year warranty, it's possible that your your credit card has an extended warranty because you purchased it with their credit card with you know what I'm saying so that's one way that's another possible solution anything else in my opinion it's gonna probably have to be under warranty I don't I don't see Google giving out I don't know that could be enough I was thinking that might be a reason why they haven't publicly responded and they haven't publicly admitted that it's their operating system Android 7 that is causing all these problems with their hardware the Nexus 6p if they were to admit that they might have to legally provide replacements even though the device even though those devices expired you know like with like with automobiles and other electronic devices like batteries that go bad sometimes class action lawsuits or sometimes they're 
just forced into into replacing devices that were maybe out of warranty but they, they go back I don't know I just thought that that, that was like maybe that's why Google is just not admitting it so the Android 7 oh quickly people are claiming that when you upgrade from Marshmallow which is Android 6 to Nougat which is Android 7 on the Google Nexus 6P that's when people are having all these problems I don't know if that's true or not but that could be something you could look into I would highly recommend it if you wanted to to check out the Nexus 6P reddit there's multiple ones but this one has a lot of comments and then this tracker which was, it, it was offensive to me that they listed a, this as small priority and I don't even own a Nexus 6P but I do own a Android a HTC you can check out this thread and check out people's documentation adios